Oh, oh, oh one kill. Missed him. Yeah, oh my! One. Come back, come back, come back. Oh, she she's missed two now. Oh, that's a big one. Go up a bit. Make him work. Oh my God, that's a giant. That's a giant. Let him get it. Come on, he's gonna hit it again. He's gonna hit it again. Come on, get that fish to hit. Go back down. Yes, that's a giant. Oh my God, go back up with it. Slowly, don't. He's not gonna eat it down there. I promise, darling. Yes, giant, giant. Oh, giant. No, 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 no. Come back, come oh back. Oh my God, that's a giant. Come go back. back down, go back down. He'll eat you again. I promise, that's a giant, darling. That's a giant. Oh, he's so angry because you just stung him. Oh, oh my God, my he's a giant. God. Pull up my transducer, please. It's a monster. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, kid, we just did it. another video we are out on the ice it is freezing cold and we're looking for some giant walleye today out here we're gonna take Avery to a good fishing spot today hopefully we catch uh, some big walleyes we got on to a couple nice size walleyes yesterday and some good numbers and uh, hopefully today we kick some friggin butt let's get going Yesterday we set up and uh, there was completely no wind. Today is the opposite story and it's going to take us a while to get us completely set up. But we're going to absolutely do it and kick some freaking butt today. Let's do it. I'm just doing this one peg at a time because I won't be able to uh, pull up this uh, hut because it's, we're so much in the wind right now that we would literally be blown all over the lake. So right now, I'm putting in a couple pegs right now to make sure that the hut itself is sturdy. I find with a lot of these big walleye, I have trouble with them as soon as they get to the hole. So I like to use uh, two 8 inch holes and spot out the middle so I just have one decent sized hole. Uh, we are officially set up and I am on the ice fishing with the ice fishing legend Joe Caladine today and uh, we are searching <laughs> for She's She's awesome. some giant walleyes. So we actually filmed a show yesterday. We booked two days with Joe in case the weather was bad or the fish weren't biting but they were on fire yesterday so we came back out today to film a vlog. Also, Joe's buddy Justin is in a hut not too far from here. We've got him mic'd up, we've got a camera in there. He also came out yesterday and caught two monster walleye that were around 9, 10 pounds. Uh, so today, we are here. Hopefully the three of us will crush it and uh, find some big fish. We absolutely crushed it yesterday. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Mrs. like catch nine fish on the ice, put a double man limit. You were absolutely killed it yesterday. I'm excited to see what today has for us. So you probably notice that uh, me and Joe are pretty spread apart in the hut. And uh, that is because usually when Joe and his buddies come out, they fish in completely separate huts. Because sometimes if like a school of fish come in or, or just one fish comes in and there's two baits close together, especially if they're two different baits, it will confuse the fish and uh, they won't uh, eat. So we're trying to keep our baits as far apart as possible. Yeah, using the same type of bait I found over um, a couple of years or, or years that I fished in the same hut with the same person, I find that if you do use two different types of baits that it completely throws them off. They kind of don't know what they want or, you know, obviously if the fish are on, the fish are on, they're going to come eat whatever you put in front of them type deal. But when we get super picky, finicky fish, I find that uh, it's really crucial to use, the, you know, the same bait in the same pattern because then they don't have to really have a choice on what to eat. They have that choice what to eat, you know? gonna be a late bite, I already know it. Oh, fish coming in. Oh yeah. It's a big mark too. Oh, it's coming in too. 
Oh, it's coming in. It's coming at you. It's oh, coming. Oh. You're going to get it. Go slow. Up, 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 up. Oh, go. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You're going to come. Yeah, he's coming back. He's, he's going to come back. up. Oh, he completely spooked away. That makes me think it's a pike when they do that. When he do you know when he away? when they when they run so fast like that? It makes me think that it's a pike because they're not. It's not like how that slow walleye comes in. You know, yeah, it's like they charge at it. It's like a total different fish. Here he is, and he's gonna oh, come. He's on you. Oh, there's another one there. Too. Oh, he's gonna eat. There's two. Oh my God, there's two of them. I thought that was a giant mark. Oh, there's three. There's three. There's three. three. Keep jigging. Keep You're gonna get one. Nice. He came down. There's oh, a couple yeah. on me here. Oh, yes. This is one thing that I don't like is sometimes there's a few fish and they'll fight over the bait and they won't commit. Oh, never mind. Oh, we got a fish on, folks. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> well, we got a fish on. Keep that bait down there, kid. All righty. Keep jigging. We got a nice eater on the ice for now. A beautiful eater to start the day today. Um, we've absolutely killed it yesterday, so I'm hoping today is going to be a repeat. Um, she kicked my butt yesterday, so <laughs> I got the first fish, and we said first fish is five bucks, so, so you owe me $5. five bucks. Oh yeah, it's going to be a good time today. We just marked three fish at once. That was crazy. And this bad boy right here did decide to eat. Oh, Ooh. Jesus. Oh, there he goes back down the hole, and he's gone. We just released it. There's dinner. <laughs> I guess we need another one. <laughs> that was called the fast release. But on the bright side, I got five bucks. <laughs> oh, you have blue, Bill. Come on, eight o'clock fish, fly in here. Let's go. Eight o'clock giant, eight o'clock giant, where could you be? Eight o'clock giant, come in for me. Eight o'clock giant, where could you be? <laughs> Please, walleye gods, musky awesome. gods, awesome. fish gods, please send me a giant today again. Oh, oh one key. Missed him? Yeah, oh my, one. come back, come back, come back. Oh, she, she's missed two now. Oh, that's a big one. Go up a bit. Make him work. Oh my God, that's a giant. That's a giant. Let him get it. Come on, he's going to hit it again. He's going to hit it again. Come on, get that fish to hit. Go back down. Yes, that's a giant. Oh my God, go back up with it. Slowly, don't, he's not gonna eat it down there, I promise, darling. Go yes, on. giant, giant, oh, giant. No, 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 no. Come back, come oh back. Oh my God, that's a giant. Come go back. back down, go back down, he'll eat you again. I promise, that's a giant, darling, that's a giant. Oh, he's coming on me, darling, here he is here. Come on, come on, come, oh, come back. That here he is here. Monster. Here he is here. Oh, it's it's so it's you. Oh. It's so angry. Here it is here. It's here. It's here, darling. Oh, I hope it eats for us. Come on, eat for us, buddy, please. Come on. Oh, he's so angry because you just stung him. He's so angry you just stung him. Oh, oh my god, my he's a giant! Gosh. Pull out my transducer, please. Pull out my transducer, please. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh my, it's a monster. It's a monster. <laughs> oh my god! We just got the double. <laughs> oh my god, kid, we just did it. We just did it, kid. Oh my. Justin, I need your scales over here, please. Oh my god, he wasn't even pinned. Oh my god, look at the size of this fish. <laughs> Oh my god, kid! Oh my god, kid! Double digits! We did it! We did it! Oh my god, kid! Look at, look at, look at! This is a 28-inch rod. 28-inch rod. It's, it's over 30. It's it's got it's got to be close to 30 inches. Oh my god! <laughs> we just crushed it, kid! We crushed it! That's a beautiful baby. Woo. Yeah, baby. Monster! What a monster, mine. guys. I'm so happy that you came out here. <laughs> what a big Quinny giant to cap off this YouTube day. Eh? Woo! Oh, yeah. Big yeah. small I have ever seen in person. There she goes, guys. Healthy release. Woo! Oh my. Wow. I, just I don't even go. know what to say other than we've had a 
we've had a great couple of days and with a giant like that on the ice you can't ask for anything more i got cold hands but a warm heart I'll tell you that Woo! we just put um double digit walleye on the ice uh i am just done <laughs> done i'm done for the day like i bet twenty dollars on I, a fish I, that was double digit I and i bet five bucks on the first fish and guess who owes me 25 bucks i owe 25 dollars i only say that because she literally kicked my butt yesterday <laughs> and put nine fish on the ice and uh i'm just i'm done today's a great day there's one thing I will say during on, on the Bay of Quinney is that everybody thinks you crush and everybody thinks that you come out here and just go out to 15 feet and crush a walleye. That is not the case. There's something that you'll see and from doing the show from yesterday to doing a YouTube video today to notice the difference on what the bite is being in the exact same spot doing the exact same thing because those fish might not be there. And sometimes it can really put a big toad on a, on a person and mess with their mind. And they might not come back to a spot thinking that the fish are not there it's just sometimes it's a, a big struggle and when you live on the on the land like i do i'm able to be out here four or five days of the week or or however many times i'd like to and that's why i'm able to be successful would i tell you that out of five days that i, I didn't catch fish three of those days of course that that's real but that's that's what keeps you coming back that's why you keep doing what you do because that is the thrive for the for the for the fish that is the the catch of the day what constantly makes you come back after all of the exhaustion that fish yeah. that fish that we just got is what makes all of us come back right mm -hmm. like it's it's awesome it's an, it's a great feeling and and i'm telling you avery you are going to land a giant i'm telling you here it is oh my god so fire oh my god he's gonna eat oh my god a giant pull up that thing giant guys giant, giant. giant coming oh my goodness another giant oh oh my goodness what the heck <laughs> oh no i'm losing it i'm losing it hold on oh, oh my, my god gosh. <laughs> oh my god I don't even know what to, I just dropped it down. I gotta stop fishing. Look at Smoke the size this of that monster wall. On the new coffin from, from uh, Northland Tackle. Wow, these coffins have just been brutal. We just caught a brute, not what, 20 minutes, like 20 minutes ago we just caught a brute. And then this one? Came. And then this brute just came in. I wanna say it's about an eight pounder. It's a good, good fish. So oh, yeah. uh, we're kicking butt and we're gonna continue and we're gonna let this bad boy go right now. So Let's get her back. I don't even know what to say other than goodbye. Woo! <laughs> awesome. So as you can see, uh, I've got two rods here and I have been using uh, two different rods all day. So Joe taught me uh, this cool trick and so basically we have two different styles of baits on we've got they're both uh, spoons uh, but their uh, presentation is very different and so if a fish isn't reacting well to the one we have in the water he will reel it up as fast as he can and then drop down the other rod to see if the fish reacts to the other style of uh, bait better it also helps with numbers so basically if there is a big pod that come in you can have two rods rigged up so that you can quickly get one fish in and then drop that down and get another right away and it's crucial because like that could be your only window all day for instance like we could be out here for two or three hours and only have that small school come through and we catch you know two or three out of that and then that's it and your window's only 10 minutes. So it's super, super crucial to have a couple setups in your hub, in your trap, whatever you guys are using to make sure that you're successful on the water so you can catch multiple fish at multiple times. Big Mark coming in, big Mark. Come on, buddy, come on. Why do you do this to me? Yeah, come see Avery, come see Avery, come see Avery, come see Avery. 
Got him. Let's go. First fish of the day for me. Oh, no, 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 no. He's right near the hole. No, how did I lose that thing? Talk to me, man. Where's the big fish? I can't land them. Justin's got three on the ice. No way. Big yeah. one? No, just eaters. You have a good luck time. Eat with one, jig with the other. You know what to do. Ooh. Keep that, keep that tension. Keep that tension, darling. Keep that tension. Yep, keep reeling, keep reeling, I, keep reeling. I was just he's a giant, he's a giant. My he's a giant. Rocks. He's a giant, you gotta keep reeling up, darling. You're gonna lose him. Oh my gosh, this thing is heavy, this thing is heavy. Yeah, it's your biggest fish, darling. Let's go! Woo! Woo, baby! What a giant. Uh-oh. <laughs> right on, darling. <laughs> goodness I broke my PB ice walleye two days in a row look at that he like he swallowed that. it that's Beautiful your biggest one fish I was literally eating my lunch and then all of a sudden he just came out of nowhere and smoked my bait that was awesome what an absolute giant oh yeah baby oh just killed the PB eh oh yeah Two days in a row. Two days in a row we killed your PBs. What an awesome fish. There she goes. Woo! Let's go! That's awesome. Heck yeah, we're killing it today. See, when you, every time you were reeling, that drag was peeling out hard, eh? Yeah. That's why you didn't set the hook on that big fish. Oh, feel that. You didn't check your drag today. That's why you lost that big fish. 100%, 100%. Your rod's so long, so it's hard to tell. Yep, let me see. I think that's good. Yep, do a couple more like that and you're good. Already, now I won't lose So that's drag. why we lost that fish today, because because of the drag, right? Loose. Yes, and with these big, big, big walleyes, they have such big mouths. Have you seen with that big, oh, yeah. that big fish we got today? It was super, like the mouths are super thick, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fish coming in. Oh man, I like that thing. I don't <laughs> even, I'd be sitting here like this still. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. He's not moving hard. Oh, oh that, that crack. crack. Ah. Okay, buck up your butt right now and put that other, that other rod down quick. They're not really turning on on that flutter, so let's get on to the heavier hitting spoons. So, yeah, look at there's a fish coming on me right here. What is this? Fake no, it's news. a perch. It's fake, fake news. news. Fake friggin' news. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> For people who are new to walleye or people that are um, haven't fished walleye before. Is there a certain way of jig for them? I don't think so. I think we all make our own little pattern. I think we all make our own little thing. Um, how do I jig for them personally? Um, I like to make sure my bait is about uh, two feet off bottom. And once I start marking a fish coming in, I start to kind of jig up, uh, you know, what depends on what bait I have, but I start to jig up and I start to reel slowly, almost like a laker um, would chase your bait out here. And I find that the walleye come and chase and then end up committing to your bait. For the for the Bay of Quinney, I find that once I mark a fish, I like to usually work it up the column and um, sometimes I even had a fish eat two or three feet underneath the ice, so. If there's a tip I'd like to say is that to keep your raw tip down and um, when the fish do come in to uh, work the fish up with your reel and get that good hook set because sometimes those big, big, big walleye have really, really meaty lips and you gotta make sure you get that hook in there, which is another reason why you should upsize your hooks. The lowest one I would do would be like a size seven. I'm usually used to a size seven. Um, I'm very comfortable with a size seven. It doesn't even mess up a lot of my flutter spoons and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty comfortable with that. Oh, here he is. Look at- God, I'm joking. Here he is. <laughs> Do you have a fish on? Yeah, I got it. It's on the ice. It's literally a eight pounder. I'm not even joking. I just pulled it right through. Shut up. A giant. You should see this giant. Coming. 
Look oh. at the size of this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is that has got to be the tiniest walleye that we've gotten. Oh, obviously, Jesus. That is the smallest <laughs> walleye I've ever seen. Fish coming, fish coming towards me. Good sized fish coming towards me. Oh, yeah, he's going to eat. Keep it down more. Oh, dude, dude. Go down. Two. There's two down there. There's two. Go up, go up, go up, go up. One of them is going go to Go up hit. a bit, go up a bit, make a meet, make a meet. Go up a bit, go up a bit. Keep that rod tip down. Go back down and make do that again. Oh, that other fish is gone. Yeah, I see that other fish is chasing you. Now go back up. Now nah, he's chasing you hard. Now go back up. So reel up slow, slow, jig slow. Come on, man. Commit. Commit, buddy. What the heck? Come on. Up, 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 up a little bit. Make him chase it a tiniest bit. Yeah, see how he's chasing it a little bit? Go back down. Go back. Yeah, leave it right there. Let that one come up. Let him come up now. Come up. Got yep, it. yep, yep. Just like that. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. Pull him through. Reel up, reel up, and pull him through. Reel up. Woo! There you go. You got that bad boy. Good nice job. Nice little eater. Good job. There were actually three fish all going after my bait. This one was the one that actually committed. Beautiful Quinty walleye. Let's get him unhooked. Dude, that was sick, eh? Guy just came out of nowhere. On the hole, keep it on yep, the yep, hole. Yep, yep, yep. Keep it on the hole. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh man. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> Another big and on Quinny. The action always happens here, boys. It's been a crazy fish day for us today. Uh, we got a couple of big biggins today. This was an awesome cap to rule our night. Um, Avery dropped a couple of big ones today, but she killed her PB. You guys again. are going to see that. Killed it again. Just killed awesome. it. Um, got a couple of sweet eats on camera, and uh, today's been just phenomenal. I can't even say. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I think these guys only catch big fish. <laughs> <laughs> we don't always catch big fish, eh? It's been a bit, it's been a good few days. It's been like, a few uh, good days, yeah. You guys eh? picked two good days to come out. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't Happy. have went any better. Absolutely. What an awesome friggin' way to cap our night off, eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Some monster. They're literally all giants here. Oh yeah. They're gonna make it an annual witch ritual, brother. See you later. Alrighty, everybody, that is it for our adventures on Quinty. I'd like to thank you guys for showing me this incredible fishery, and I had a great time. We've had a great time, honestly. You're like so amazing to fish with, and thank I'm you. so awesome that you like kick some PBs and we're just few excited. PBs. Yeah, like a few, oh, yeah. few PBs, eh? Oh, yeah. We're super excited to have you. We hope we have you out here like all the time. And, oh, I'd uh, love to. Yeah, we can't wait to have you again. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as we did filming it. If you'd like to see more content like this, uh, please click the big red subscribe button. And of course, always remember to take a kid fishing. We will see you next time. Heck yeah, take a kid fishing. <laughs> see you later, guys.